tickets, passes to the Crystal Cave and Heinemann's Winery, plus meals from Frosty's Bar, the Chicken Patio, the Boardwalk. Woof! And get out there for some fun in the sun. Plan your Putin Bay Island getaway today. But we'll start you off. A couple of tickets on the Jet Express. Good luck. Car 10, these are yours. 216 578 1007 or 800 348 1007. Who needs broadcasting awards? The, I like the sound of my own voice award. When you've won world's sexiest and five years in a row. And the winner is Alan Cox on 100.7 WMMS. We've got Celebrity Hot Goss with Perez Bilton on the way. And another $1,000 for it in about five or six minutes. Be listening for your next shot to score from the Buzzard Bookie. Plenty of chances to do that this week and next. Uh, if you listen to us on iHeartRadio from out of state, tell me where you do that. I heard from, who did I hear from? Somebody who lives in Uniontown, but they're down in the Myrtle Beach. Andrew listens in Wilmore, Kentucky. Anthony's in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Uh, Krista is in San Antonio. And you can leave us messages there. You can also drop voicemails, if you like, on our After Hours line. It's always available to you. It's 216-986-8903. Hi, Alan. This is another Mike from Parma, but I'm the temporary bureau chief at Kennywood outside of Pittsburgh. And I just wanted you to do uh, Pittsburgh Allen uh, on puking on the uh, Steelers roller coaster here. I did that today. So I want to hear you do Pittsburgh Allen puking on the Steelers roller coaster at Kennywood. Love you. Bye. They have a Steelers roller coaster at Kennywood? I've never been to Kennywood. I lived in Pittsburgh for eight and a half years and never went to Kennywood. We have a real amusement park here, so we don't have to go to Kennywood. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I, I made a bad move. I filled up on Isley's chip chop ham sandwiches before I got on. I should have never done it. I got two man crinkle fries. Oh, no, I loaded up on, I don't know. I'm, I loaded up on, on Iron Cities and... Uh, Whatever else. What is a high hill? When's this gonna go down? This whole thing is. I'm overlooking the rest of Kennywood right now. Oh, so much screaming. (sighs) 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 Somebody sent me. uh, We have a lot of bureau chiefs there in the Steel City, and somebody sent me this dude. It's a man after pound cake's own heart, and I'll just say that because of the sound effects that this guy makes. Hmm. You know, we give pound cake a hard time because he has. A wide array of sound effects. They range from <laughs> to <laughs> that's kind of his go-to for every uh, situation. This guy, a Buckos booster from top to bottom, boy. He's wearing his uh, Andrew McCutcheon jersey, ill-fitting as it is. <laughs> He's got his. He must have heard that the news was coming. This is a guy who's they had big lightning storms in Pittsburgh. A couple of friends of mine who are. Uh, professional photographers were posting photos of lightning strikes all around Pittsburgh. And one guy had lightning come right into his bedroom. Whoa. And he was happy to tell uh, Channel 11 News all about it. He must have thought, well, the news is coming. I got to put on my best. And so he put on his cuts jersey and he put on his pirate's cap. I'll show you this on the live stream. You can see this dude doing his thing. The one in a million chance you were laying right next to lightning. It come out. Whoosh, buzz, buzz, pow. Just, just there. I mean, it was there. It was there. Yeah. <laughs> Boosh, push, push, pow. Boosh, push, push, come out. Whoosh, buzz, buzz, pow. I hope Poundcake's taking notes. He should be a wizard. A wizard? Yeah, he has a great sound effect. <laughs> He's got all the noises, for right? the powers that come out of his hands. Yeah. Well, the Guardians uh, bent the Pirates over last night. Boy, it was 11 and nothing there. That's the first of three at PNC Park. They'll play him tonight at 7.05 here on MMS. Uh, Pittsburgh's own Wiz Khalifa, by the way, uh, channeling the great Doc Ellis. 
got stoned and then threw out the first pitch at the game. I like that a lot. Even tweeted about it before he went out and did it. He said, uh, finna get stoned AF and throw this first pitch at the Pirates game. I have a stupid question. <laughs> so he ate a bunch of shrooms and, <laughs> and then went out and threw the first pitch at the Pirates game. Shroomed out throwing a baseball is crazy, he said. He also posted a picture with two jars of weed and a bunch of uh, mushrooms. And then um, he had a drink before he went out there, before the Pirates-Guardians game. And uh, I guess I had a good time, by all accounts. Just a regular Monday for Wiz Khalifa. He posted a photo of him eating Cracker Jacks. And I haven't eaten mushrooms in a long, long time, so I don't know if you that's... should. Eat some mushrooms. I don't know if that's become the standard snack, you kids who are shrooming out. What were you saying, Cody? I have a question. Is, this is a little off topic, but I'm just curious. Is it legal to be publicly high? Like, I know if, you, if you're caught doing drugs in public in certain states, it's illegal. But if you openly say... I'm high right now to a police officer. Can you get arrested? I don't know that you would say that. I mean. I don't but, think you can. But if he tweeted it and he's. I like, don't. I think if they. I mean. Is it like a DUI? Public or intoxication like, yeah, maybe? I was say, are you intoxicated? If you. I think if you were stumbling around or if you. I think if you're maybe if you're. a problem. If you're not causing a problem, I can't imagine they would cuff you. Right. Like if you're not causing a disturbance, you're not screaming, you're not. You know, if you're just walking around, uh, you're probably fine. Like I'm, I, just I, I don't so think you. I, I think a lot of you. <laughs> like, you couldn't no. stand on the street corner and fire up a blunt. Well, that's what I'm saying. I know that. I know that would to be, be high in public. Because I always wondered how those people on intervention. And I know that's like a, a, a TV show, so I, there's certain a different set of rules. But like, how are they publicly high? You know who they are, and like where they live, and no one is like. Oh. I think there's so. I mean, everywhere you go now it smells like weed. So I mean. I think you're probably, it's at the discretion of somebody who might stop you, but I don't know these days if walking around high, first of all, unless you walked up to a cop and said, I'm, I'm tripping balls. I'm stoned out of my mind right. right now. <laughs> officer, officer. And they'd probably just chuckle and let you keep yeah. going. Okay, have a good night. Be careful. Like or they'd mess with you. Running they'd or be running like, get on the ground. Yeah, I know. That would be my, the worst. <laughs> That's what I would do. I would just say, right now, if I was a cop and someone came up to me and said, I'm tripping balls right now, I'd say, get on the ground. And then i just walk away. <laughs> no, I, I and then, and then if I, like, I turn around, like, after, like, walking 30 or 40 feet and, and, and wouldn't do that. And I'd say, like, I said, get on the ground. <laughs> stay there. All right. Now, Liz Cleveland, I don't know. We got money for you here. It is $1,000 to uh, you, courtesy of the buzzard bookie. Plenty of chances still to win. I hope you do. Good luck. This is your chance to bet with the buzzard bookie and win $1,000 now. Enter this nationwide keyword at WMMS.com. Pay. That's pay. Enter it now at WMMS.com. Bill, are you ready for hot celebrity gossip? Oh, yeah. Hot, 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 hot celebrity gossip. This is hot celebrity gossip with Perez Bilton. Ooh. Hey, Alan, I'm going to need some different music today. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is some country version of hot celebrity gossip. What's up, my goss wranglers? <laughs> Got a bunch of good hot goss for you. Let's start things off with Jason Aldean. He cut his concert short the other day because he got heat stroke. And I can understand you got to cut your concert short because you got heat stroke. Not like all the people that go to see you have hard jobs where they're working out in the fields or working on construction sites and and you got a little sweaty in your your wranglers um not very impressed by that jason and according to inside sources whoop uh, inside sources well, thank you very much thank you kindly <laughs> according to inside sources if jason had just drank some bud light and performed in booty shorts he would have been just fine 
kept it nice and cool. <laughs> yeah, he would have. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, Luke Combs over here covering Tracy Chapman's fast car, and it's tearing up the country charts, which has some people asking questions like, is the country community racist? Because they wouldn't embrace Tracy Chapman because she's black and queer, but they love when Luke Combs do it. Uh, according to Inside Sources. Inside Sources. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Country music has some racist fans, but so there's rap and rock and metal. There's racists all over the place. I don't even know if you noticed this, but... Racism exists all over the place. Homophobia exists all over the place. It ain't just country music. So let the fat white boys sing the gay black chick song. There's no racism in metal. There's so much racism. <laughs> <laughs> it might be the most. <laughs> and finally, good news for people that believe in Christ but don't like reading. sag After has approved a waiver that lets the chosen a series about Jesus Christ continue to film. That's pretty good news, if you ask me, because I hate reading. <laughs> Reading's gay. According to Inside Sources, Inside Sources, the Lord works in mysterious ways. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> that was the tag on that. All right. There you go. This is Hot Celebrity Gossip with Perez Bilton. Ooh. You know how I know you're gay? How? How do you know I'm gay? Because you macrame yourself a pair of jean shorts. You know how I know you're gay? You just told me you're not sleeping with women anymore. You know how I know that you're gay? How? Because you're gay and you can tell who other gay people are. You know how I know you're gay? How? You like Coldplay. You know how I know that you're gay? How? You like the movie Made in Manhattan. You know how I know you're gay? How? I saw you make a spinach dip in a loaf of sourdough bread once. I uh, I thought maybe there was going to be a lot of celebrity divorce on the horizon. Well, it was all country stuff. It was week. all country. Well, real quick, did you guys know that Luke Combs' cover of Tracy Chapman's Fast Car has made her almost $500,000? That's what I'm saying. That's a good thing. It is a good thing. Yeah. It's really cool. Who gives a crap? Screw you, man. No, by the way, awesome. for, all, for, all not- these, for all these people screaming about it, like, she has to give the okay. Yeah. And there's a lot of people who- And it sounds have, good. I listen to it. I I have like, a, he yeah. does a really good job on it. He's, she's the first um, person like on the number one billboard charts. How, how do they phrase it? She's like the first time to be on the number one country billboard charts as the solo black writer or something like that. Like she's she wrote that. She's the only writer on that song. And there's never been a black writer at number one. Not Charlie Pride? Not solo. Solo. Because she's the only, she's the solo writer on that song. Because she's had people ask her before and she's turned him down. So mm-hmm. she must have liked something about Luke Combs. Luke Combs is great, dude. Well, he he's a fat so- ginger. That's what you like. He's a fat oh, ginger no. and he would, wear the, he would wear shorts instead of wearing pants. That, that. The Jason Aldean G- thing is crazy. It is crazy. So like, we talked like, about it. Take a few Sorry. minutes, dude. You took a day off, but we Sorry. were here working and uh, we already talked about it. I had to overcome death to come back today. Um, and you just dress like you love death. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Luke Bill Combs, went hard at the Irish Cultural Festival, I assume. Right. No, that's not even. needed a day off. I had, like, a beer. It was uh, other extenuating circumstances that caused me to lose my voice yesterday. Well, lost my voice Sunday night. But, Go ahead, Mary. Yeah, your thoughts. Is. All I was saying is that Luke Combs is an awesome person, and he doesn't do things like Jason Aldean does. Like, um, one time his voice was going out on him, and he still went out. He told everyone in the audience, and he plays, like, football stadiums. He's playing to 60,000 people. Like, this dude is huge. And he told everyone, hey, guys, I'm not at my best. I'm going to be sitting down for most of the show. I already refunded all of your money, but I'm going to come out here and play for as long as I can. And he he did. He gave everyone their money back. Went out, played a couple songs. Was like, how I'm did sorry. he already refund their money? He had Venmoed everybody. No, mm-hmm. he just like reversed. I'm, I'm assuming he had point of sale. ticket master some, yeah, point reverse. of sale something. He said everyone got their money back. However you bought it, you got a refund on whatever Seat Geek or Ticketmaster. However you bought your ticket, you got a refund. And I'm gonna do what I can for you. Boy, how dead on is that for a country artist? Because he's already even my voice is stepping out on me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All I'm saying is he's a good guy. He does a lot with charity. Right. He's, no, sounds nice. He's a super, super awesome dude. And by the way, that's a great song. 
Tracy fast Chapman car. could yeah. ha- she had a couple of hits. She had Give Me One Reason. She had Fast Car. I think I don't think Fast Car was number one, but it was like number three. I mean, so for people who are all mad about Tracy Chapman, that was a huge hit for her. By the way, you are way more pissed off than Tracy Chapman is, isn't she from yeah, Cleveland? She, yeah, she's from yeah. Cleveland. Yeah, yeah. So her Fast Car, she wanted to get the hell out of here. That was one and of the go first, somewhere else. first albums that my, like we had a, like my dad bought a bunch of CDs when we got our first CD player and Tracy Chapman's greatest hits was one of them. So I've known, like that was, we had like four CDs. It was mm-hmm. like Billy Joel, Wilson Phillips, Tracy Chapman, and uh, James Taylor. So we're like, I know all those songs. My song. I mean, she- like hearing that and people being like, is it racist for him to? I'm like, I don't, I think you guys are picking the wrong battle here. She could have. Like there's a lot of stuff that, is racist and homophobic, but him doing the song isn't. And still give, she's yeah, getting all the royalties. If she's getting royalties, like, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. She could have said yes to each and every person who ever asked her, and she could have had a really nice life. I asked her every day. Yeah, Bill has constantly said, like, please Tracy. let me cover Fast Car. Give us a little taste of that. No, she won't let me. You just give him like a little under three Mary, seconds, Aren't right? you listening to him? He just said I thought that he's I, been forbidden. I thought you couldn't get in trouble if it was like only a certain amount of time. Well, from the recording uh, from uh, ASCAP or whatever, but from Tracy Chapman. Oh. From Chapcap, you can get oh, into I, a lot of trouble. Let me find the lyrics. My sister dated a boy named Tracy in high school, so that was my only uh, um, kind of familiarity with that name so up and i'm not joking up until like five years ago i thought tracy chapman was a boy oh. just because that's what i associated the name tracy chapman well at the time she did look kind of androgynous yeah, yeah. i fully thought she was a boy for it might have been longer in the last 10 years <laughs> for sure I don't know when I come in. in. Yeah. Next. Not yet. <laughs> no. Not yet. Just a few bars. Give him a countdown, Alan. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, go. You got a fast car. I want a ticket to anywhere. Maybe we make a deal. Maybe together we can get somewhere. Any place is better. Starting from zero. You can't see my hips moving. That's where all the music it's is. It's really where all the magic happens. And, Worst thing uh, you say, Yeah, I don't. It's an I'm outtake from that singer. Alex Jones album. Yeah. <laughs> Sounded very similar. I was around the world, and I found out that only stupid people are breeding. Those creatures are cloning and feeding. And I don't even own a TV. I'm just saying there were some similarities. Yeah, he, he totally copies me. So at least we've all come to the conclusion that Tracy Chapman probably made a pretty good decision. Yes. In not letting Bill cover Fast Car. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm even going to agree on that one. Hey, Woody. Ellen. What up? Uh, Alex Jones sings Tracy Chapman. I'm loving every, I'm loving every minute of it. Uh-huh. Just like Loverboy. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, but hey, uh. I want to talk about uh, uh, guys in metal. I, there's only a half because uh, only a half of you. Uh, uh, Rob Halford, you know, and, yep. and you had said before that everybody knew that he was gay, but I was, you know, the last one to find out about that. I never, for some reason, I, I just didn't put two and two together, even though you know it was black and white once he came out. Well, yeah, I mean, and, it was uh, he's he's easily the most high profile. Like Lizzie Hale, I think is gay too, but Rob Halford is far and away the most high profile uh, gay person in heavy metal. Yes, but, yeah, but to, I mean, to their I mean, point, I mean, when, when, it, when, he, when go ahead. I was going to say, when, when did he actually come out? Do you remember what, what what year, what decade that was? I mean, it would have been late nineties. Yeah, right. But and so. I mean, I didn't, I, I just, it, it really kind of took me aback because I just didn't see it at all. And it, it wasn't talked about this and that. And another person was like, well, was it Pete Townsend gay? No, I think he got accused of being a pederast for a while, but that was all. Release the book, Pete. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think that he was. I mean, um, heavy metal, I don't know. I mean, you know, there's there's a lot, obviously a lot of people in rock and roll. You had Bowie and, and Freddie, Freddie Mercury and, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, I just, uh, it's, it's um, you know, hey, well, to each their own, right? You know, do you, you do you, I'll do me, and everything's cool in the game. 
everything is cool in the gang, right? Well, okay, thank wish, you. Woody. I wish more people felt that way, Woody, but there's a lot of people that aren't chill like right. Woody. Live and let live. Well, he's out there living that lake life for him. Yeah. He's, you know, a couple of rocks in the tumbler, and he's all right. I got to take a break here. I'm a bit late. If you want to send a text for something, 35192, and we'll be back.